Hey guys! Today we're gonna take a look at a fairly simple, but one of my favorite resin techniques. A uh, mica drop. Other people might call it something different, like maybe a mica petri or something, but that's just what I've been calling it. So this is going to result in something that looks like drops of shimmering pigment dripping through the resin. Sometimes it pools in the bottom in some cool and interesting ways. It's, it's a fun effect. It doesn't take a lot of materials. All you really need is some resin and mica powder. You can use whatever color you want. And you can get mica lots of different places, but I'll, I'll link to the materials that I used in the description. The big thing with doing a mica drop is using a lot of mica. Mica's a rock, so it's heavier than resin. Normally it's fine enough to use in resin. It's fine enough that it's gonna stay suspended and it's not gonna affect how heavy the resin is, really. Like, the particles are so small. But in this case, we want it to be a little bit heavier, so we're gonna use a lot of mica with a little amount of resin to make that resin heavier. I can usually tell when there's enough mica when some of it sticks to the bottom of the mixing cup when I kind of scrape along it with my stir stick a little bit. For the dice that I'm making, I'm going to add a little bit of foil for some flair, but you can choose to add whatever you want along with the mica. We're going to start out by pouring our non-mica resin into the molds. We're going to pour it almost all the way to the top, but we want to leave just a little bit of space for that mica heavy resin. The mica resin is going to go on top and fill in the molds the rest of the way. You probably want to add the mica pretty soon after mixing up the resin, because if you wait too long, the resin will get thick and then the mica won't sink. But it's worth running some experiments and seeing what works for you. It doesn't actually take much of the mica resin to get this effect at all. I'm actually probably using a little too much here. Once the resin has sat for a while, you should be able to see some spots where the clear resin is now above where the mica resin is, as the mica has started to sink. Now I'll just pop the lids on here to let them cure, and we can find out how they turned out! Here we are the next day, ready to unmold. And there you have it, a mica drop swirl! Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And I'd like to say thank you to my wonderful patrons who I have listed on the screen right here. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to shoot me a subscribe or something. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!